All right, explain to me again why you had me go out and buy a pumpkin mask. I told you, dude, we're gonna scare Amy with these. We're gonna uh -huh. scare Amy. Yep. Wearing pumpkin masks when it's nowhere near Halloween. Bingo. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. She won't be spooked by these. Aha, uh -huh. that's where you're wrong, my friend. You see, Amy suffers from extreme agoraphobia. Agoraphobia. Yep. <sighs> Never mind. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Whatever, dude. Just trust me. It'll be great. As soon as Ned gets here, we'll go. He just had to go buy his own pumpkin mask. Hello. Halloween, everybody! In the middle of the summer, it's Drinking with Goosebumps! And we're drinking Odyssey Beer Works Fluffy Pumpkin. And of course, we're drinking pumpkin beer today because we are going to be discussing Goosebumps number 48, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Put one head in front of the other. One cool thing about this book is that it still has the bookmark and trading cards in it. There's an R.L. Stein quote for this book's trading card uh, called The Real Deal. So, and it says, a reporter recently asked me if I carved jack-o'-lanterns with my left or right hand. I said, neither. I use a knife. <laughs> Pumpkin power. Nothing beats Halloween. It's Drew Brockman's favorite holiday, and this year will be awesome. Much better than last year. Or the year Lee and Tabby played that joke. A nasty practical joke on Drew and her best friend Walker. Last year they snuck into my Halloween party and pretended they were burglars. It wasn't a funny joke. It was a sick joke. We thought it was for real. Yes, this year Drew and Walker have a plan. A plan for revenge. It involves two scary pumpkin heads. But something's gone wrong. Way wrong. Because the pumpkin heads are a little too scary. A little too real with strange hissing voices and flames shooting out of their faces. Sounds spooktacular. Shall we check in with Amy to see what we're drinking today? Oh, we might as Max. well. Max. You're still wearing that. Like you still have this on your body. Yeah, it's just getting broken. Oh, hey guys. Today's shot is the Funky Pumpkin. Whiskey, Cointreau, pumpkin vodka, syrup, and bitters. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah, it tastes like juicy fruit. It's fine, it'll be fine. It's gonna move ya. Get your sea shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Intro shot. <laughs> oh, no. these guys suck. <laughs> Halloween's okay. Okay? It's the best day of the year. Meet Drew, who is female, and that threw me off for a page. Yeah. Drew Barrymore. That's what I initially went to. Oh, I didn't See, think about I that. didn't. I, I assumed Andrew. They don't specify that, oh, even though I'm a girl, my name's Drew. Like, they don't do that. It's mm -hmm. like two pages in, they're like, oh, yeah, she would. And I'm like, wait, was she? Yeah. You know, I'm thinking we have to call a rule here that we probably haven't called on in a while. Okay. She has a nickname, Elf. 
And that's a rule we haven't called in so long. Well, it's, it's not a, we don't have a nickname rule. Yeah, we, we have, do. We have a name rule. No, 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 no. no. It, it basically, if it ties to you at all, because you- No, 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 no. Her dad calls her elf because apparently she looks like an elf. Pointy ears, pointy, pointy nose. Pointy chin, pointy vagina. Sure. Um, Why is that funny? <laughs> but. <laughs> no vagina shame, God. bro. What? Nickname. Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Nickname. Hey, Jason, take a shot. Um, okay. Make him t take a shot. If you drink it faster. It's like pulling off a band-aid. Nice and slow and painful. Uh. So Drew, AKA Elf, and her best friend Walker are obsessed with playing a Halloween prank on Tabby and Lee. <laughs> <laughs> she falls for it every time. You are the world's biggest sucker, Drew. I'm getting sick of you two. This book has a very interesting structure because it actually gives us, uh, shows us basically three Halloweens. There's a Halloween back when the kids were 10 and they got pranked by Lee and Tabby. Tabby's like a prissy, you know, she's so beautiful. Always a princess. Yeah, and, and, and so they're like, oh, we've got to pay these guys back. And that's several chapters. And then they go to the second Halloween that when they're age 11, and, and Lee and Walker and their twin friends. Shane and Shana, yep. which is, Jesus Christ. I just they're, kept calling Shauna just to make it less annoying. Yeah. When they're age 11, they're like, oh, we're gonna get Tabby and Lee, we're gonna prank them so good. And they plan this whole big Halloween party. For, for this a year. There's gonna be ooze and stuff at their house. And then anyway, Tabby calls them up and says, we can't, we can't make we're it. We're not coming. We're not coming. I will say though, as shitty as Tabby and Lee were, and, and they were, and they were bratty and annoying characters, I liked the differentiation between them and the others, like the the, the main protagonist crew, I guess. Because they throw a lot of characters at you from the get-go on this. They there's, do. There's oh, Drew, yeah. there's her best friend, Walker. There's the, the twins, twins, Shane and Shana. There's Dad Tabby and Lee. and Lee. So when the characters were 10, uh, Drew and her, her best friend Walker and the twins went to a party at Lee's house mm -hmm. and everyone was dressed up as a Halloween party. And then all of a sudden, these two people uh, come In out of the basement. In a ski mask and then a, a gorilla, gorilla mask. costume. And uh, the two people the, in the ski masks are like, all oh, you kids, you're not going anywhere. Get down and start doing push-ups. For and, hours. And all the kids are scared and they're doing push-ups and then... No weapons these guys have. Why would you listen to them? Like, I'd no, say no, no weapons, weapons these guys have. No these guys, weapons, no, these weapons. Guys. No, no weapons. weapons. No weapons. No weapons. How's by you? You know, yeah. Hey, I'm, a, I'm walking here. Yeah. 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 Look at the bat bow. The golem is not a big problem. Yeah. What's Max do? And so while all the kids are doing push-ups, Drew looks up at Tabby and Lee and they're snickering. And it's like, wait a minute. And then the two robbers or whatever who broke in pull off their masks and there's some high school they're kids. And it was all this big prank by Lee and Tabby. And ever since that point, when they were 10 years old, Ta or, uh, Drew is like, we're gonna get back at him. Would you like to get back at him? Do dogs have fleas? My dog doesn't. It's just an expression, Walker. At that party that they go to at Lee's house, the twins are dressed up as snowmen no. in styrofoam costumes. That they carved out of a big block of styrofoam. Where do you get a big block of styrofoam? And Hobby Lobby. First off, I, I don't hate- I think you can get that big of a block. Can you, can you Amazon. imagine- Can you imagine walking around in styrofoam all night? How grating that would be? Yeah, that was pretty- Can, can we just talk about costumes in this book real quick? Uh, Lee at one point is a, a 12 year old male dressed as a bumblebee. Yeah. One of them is a uh, walker becomes a Dark, stormy night. What are you supposed to be? Beetle is 1962? What? No, I'm a dark and stormy night. Well, I see the dark, but where's the stormy?
Tabby, who's the prissy girl, when she's 10, goes as a princess. When she's 12, goes in the same princess costume with green face. Alien princess. Yeah. Alien princess, which, by the way, I it's assume offensive. girls grow faster than boys that she could not fit into that two years later. Maybe she hadn't hit puberty yet. And my favorite costume of the entire book uh, from the party when they were 10 is the girl who spray painted herself silver, including her face. I'm uh, like, I'm pretty sure that's how you would die. So we fast forward to present day and it's Halloween night. And they're like, oh man, we've been waiting to get revenge, but we don't have a plan. And they're like, well, let's just go trick or treating with Tabby and Lee and see what happens. And they get to this, this house with where an old lady answers the door. She's like, oh my, Rose. your costumes are so great. You have to come in and show them to my husband. And the kids are all uneasy about it. And she's like, no, no, come in. So they go into this old lady's house and she leads them back to like the back room, which is filled with like- Crying children. Dozens of, of crying children dressed up for Halloween. And they're like, oh no, they we got She brings them in so she can show her husband. Her husband, Forrest. Who? Forrest, but that is Bob's middle name, so. Except mine's spelled right with one R. I love your costume so much, you're going to stay right here forever! You're gonna be here forever! <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden Drew's like, oh, That'd be great. What a daydream. So we've gone from two two years ago flashback, one a year ago, one year ago flashback to a daydream, daydream. and now like now ten we're chapters, halfway through the book. Ten chapters in, we're into the actual book. It is actually Halloween, and Drew and her friends are trying to come up with an idea to scare Tabby and Lee. And while they're discussing it. Uh, Drew's mom comes in and is like, "I don't think I want you trick or treating, Drew." But I don't think I want you going out tonight. What? Why not? Well, I was just watching the news, and they still haven't found those four people who disappeared the last couple of days, and I'm worried. I have to go out. It's Halloween. Four fat people have disappeared yep. in this town. Maybe your town. <laughs> Can't tell you where, though, in case they don't find either. out. So they're chatting about um, what they're going to do to get back at Lee and Tabby. Well, Real they, good Halloween prank. Yeah, real good. They're coming up with dumb ideas, and the twins go listen. You just need to trust us on this one. I got an idea how to get back at Tabitha and Lee. All you have to do is invite them to go trick-or-treating with you. Shane and I will do the rest. The plan is to meet the twins and Tabby and Lee at the corner or whatever. And go trick-or-treating. And go trick-or-treating. And so they're like, okay, where are the twins? Are I don't the know. They'll, they'll meet up with us. They'll catch up. Yeah, they can catch up. They know the route or whatever. Mm. So they start trick-or-treating. <laughs> There's Tabitha and Lee. Yeah, but where are your friends? Where's Shane and Shauna? I don't know. They're going down a new road. These two figures with like pumpkin heads and just like sheets. Pretty scary. You're gonna have to do better than that. Not bad costumes though. <sighs> you thought you could scare us? This isn't gonna scare us, but. Good costumes. How'd you get the eyes to go? There's like fire in the eyes and, and the mouth. Yeah. yeah, and they're speaking with like oh scary voices. <laughs> and 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 Tabby and Lee are both like, we know it's the twins. Come with us, we know the best place to trick or treat. If you want to trick or treat, follow us. We know a new neighborhood. A new neighborhood. They wind up in this neighborhood that none of them knew was there. All the houses are super close together so they can go bam, 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 bam and get some candy. Perfect. Yeah, and they've they've started to hit houses where people are like, it's kind of late, guys. Mm -hmm. So that's where they end up at this new neighborhood. And they start knocking on the doors. Some dude with a pumpkin head. Mm -hmm. Like, we just want to go home. No going home, trick or treat forever. Yeah, and, and Drew Drew is freaking out. She's like, oh, I don't think this is Shane and Shana anymore. I think these- Yeah, she flat out, yeah, she flat out says, you? you're not Shane and Shana, who are you? And that's like where a yeah. chapter ends. And, and, and like Tabby, everyone's freaking out. Tabby, Lee, everyone, they're like, no, we're tired. We don't want to trick or treat anymore. Eat the candy. Four houses, you must trick or treat forever. <laughs> and this is the part of the book that drags on too much. Oh my, yeah, it was. It probably went. It was like 
10, it was ten, probably, five? probably five to 10 chapters of we're tired. We don't want to trick or treat anymore. Keep trick or treating. We're tired. We don't want to trick or treat anymore. Trick or treating. We're tired. We don't want to trick or treat anymore. Eat that fucking candy and then we're going to go back trick or treating. Finally, uh, Tabby and Lee are like, no, we're done. We're not moving anymore. <laughs> All of a with, sudden, pumpkin people start like coming out of the sky or whatever. With it's, flaming pumpkin heads. And circling them. And they try to, they put the heads of pumpkins. And they slam the pumpkin heads down on Tabby and Lee. Nate! And Tabby and Lee take off, freaking they out. Freaked, and they're like, no! Cliffhanger. Next chapter. Drew and her friend Walker are laughing. That like, was the best that, practical joke we got ever. It. We and did they it. look at the two pumpkin people that slowly anamorph back into the twins. Guess what? They're fucking aliens. Yeah, thank God we're friends with aliens. Thanks that for, is what they say. That is literally what it says. Thanks for bending your alien laws to play a prank on two Earth children. They are not going to forget this one. No problem. You know, I think we're getting to like Halloween as much as you do. Hey, it's a one time a year. You get to be someone else. <laughs> You guys want some candy for the trip back? No thanks, it's not part of our diet. But if you know where some nice plump adults are, we'll eat those. Oh, well now you know where the fucking fat adults went. The four <laughs> missing fat you, adults. You guys are kidding, right? Ha 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 ha. End. Ending, At which um. Do you want to wheel shop for it? You, let's. Yes. Bob ending. Bob ending. All right. Oh, fuck me. So if I recall, there is an episode with this. There uh, sure is, Ned. Yep. However, before we get Season to that. Season two, episode 10. Oh, I don't want to. I, uh, I really, really hate to be the guy to do this. But um, are you doing the foreshadowing? Page 99. God damn it. We had no idea that the biggest horror was still to come. I was hoping you were gonna forget. I noticed it when I read it and I'm like, fucking motherfucker. R.L. Stein foreshadowing roll. <laughs> this is what it's like going into a Walmart. Where's Shane and Shauna? I don't know. Oh, they're, they're filming in X-Files. Well, if it isn't Mighty Mouse. She's Super Drew. Oh, because everybody's heard of Super Drew. Is that Shane? Really? Speak to us. Why do they have claws? Well, I like that they have pumpkin hands. They're like roots. Okay, they're they crab claws. They look like those are crab claws. Oh, those are, are crab claws. They are crab claws. Like you should have just given them regular crab hands. Crab people look like crabs, talk like people. Ooh, it's Halloween Town. Damn, damn it, I was just gonna say, oh, welcome to Halloween Town. Trick or treat! <laughs> well, he's gonna molest you. There's the mustache. Man, they're Vegemorphing. We should write our own book series, Vegemorphs. <laughs> it's like, I really like this girl, so I turned into a zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that was awfully sick. Hitlery. Oh no! It's the aliens from the Muppets. <laughs> so that was the episode. Um, it it was fine. Uh, the episode was. It was truncated Whatever. appropriately. Yeah. Considering the first half of the book was all flashback nonsense. Let's get back to the book really quick here. Bob, what do you rate this book? Nah, it's a two. I know it won't be a ten. A two? Because we never rated a book a ten. No. A none of them are that good. Two. So much filler. Needless filler. And I'm annoyed at the, the lack of Halloweening by this chick who loves Halloween. It was all filler, no thriller. Ned, what do you rate this book? Eight and a half. I enjoyed it. There was, there's a lot of different levels to this one for Goosebumps, which um, I really liked how dark and kind of shitty Lee and 
Tabby. Tabby were um, eight and a half. I give this a nine. I give it a 10. <laughs> okay. I Basically. <laughs> I, I love the zaniness of this. Uh, I love that it, it, it spans multiple years. I love that just randomly they're, they're friends with aliens for some fucking reason. I like that too. It was kind of stupid. And the reason I don't give it a 10 is because the back half got repetitive with the jack o It did. And with them saying, we don't want to trick or treat, keep trick or treating. We don't want to trick or treat, keep trick or treating. Yeah, jack o lanterning gets repetitive. Two. You gotta, you gotta really impressify me. Didn't you like Ghost Rider too? And that wraps it up for Attack of the Jant... <clears throat> Jant. The Janitors. <laughs> the Janto Lanterns. The, the Janitor Lanterns. The Janto Lanterns. Well, that wraps it up well, for... Well, that wraps it up for Attack of the Jack o Lanterns. There you go. Uh, join us next week for book number 49. Vampire Breath. Open wide and say mouthwash. Uh, uh, uh. 49! Ah, ah, ah. I want to describe your clothing, pretty little girl. Ah, 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 ah. I need a cigarette. <laughs>